number 7 from the 2013 Advanced Tire Maths. Complex numbers, what does it just say? Given this complex number, write down its conjugate and express the square of the conjugate in polar form. Well, as soon as you look at that, 1s and root 3s, there's 30s and 60s and so on. Well, first of all, it said write down the conjugate. Well, fair enough. Is this worth a mark? I hope so. Well, there it is. And then it says write down the square of that conjugate in polar form. So you've got two choices. You can either square it keeping it in its rectangular form, or you could change it to polar form and then just use Demophorus to form the square. I think I'll just put it into polar form straight away. So what have I got? So Z bar is going to be, now going through it formally, I suppose maybe I'll have to go through it formally, but in practice of course you wouldn't, but this isn't, this is an exam, because you would just look at that, you would just think of the diagram. 1 plus root 3, 1 along the real, root 3 up, 1 root 3, so that's a 2 because it's a 1, 2 root 3 triangle, and that angle's a 60 degrees. So then, oh, I've got for this, I've got 2 times cos 60 plus i sine 60. And then the square of it will simply be this squared. So the 2 squared, which will become 4, and that squared would double the angles which would make it 120 plus i sine 120 presuming we can have it in degrees here but is that worth the remaining three marks just doing that maybe i should put a justification down as it becomes a little bit tedious so that means going back to this the modulus of that was one squared plus root three squared so that's one plus three which is four I should have said squared, which means that the modulus of it is 2, and the argument of z bar would be inverse tan of the y over the x, that's the root 3 over 1, which I can just put down as 60, then I can put that down. And just as a wee safety net, I'll just say which equals 4 times cos 2 pi upon 3 plus i sine. 2 pi upon 3. Now if I took the rectangular root to this, then I would have gone on to say, well, z squared would be 1 plus root 3i squared. And then squaring that bracket would be square the first. Twice the product, which would be 2 root 3i. Square the last, which would be negative 1 times 3, which is negative 3. So that I've got negative 2 plus 2 root 3i. It's looking a bit worse actually doing this to change into polar form. And then, well, on a diagram, that would represent 2 back and 2 root 3 up. 2 back, 2 root 3. And since that's double a 1, 2 root 3, that would have to be a 4, and since it's a 1, 2 root 3 triangle, that's going to be 60 in there, making the angle 120. But not assuming that I'll get away in the exam just with doing this sketch, which you would do normally, I'll just have to demonstrate this then. So that means the modulus of this squared, divide right the square root, would be negative 2 squared plus 2 root 3 all squared. That's 4 plus 4 threes are 12, which is 16, which means that z bar squared is 4. And for the argument of z bar squared, I would have inverse tan of 2 root 3 over negative 2. That's the same as inverse tan of negative root 3 upon 1. But that negative is important in respect of which part it belongs to. So a little sign of the side would be because the y part is positive and the x part is negative, which places it here. So that I know I'm looking for this angle round to here. So whereas I've got a 60 degree to place, it's a 60 degree plane placed there, so I know it's 120 degrees. Or if you want, 2 pi up in 3. Then I can go back over here and say, so that was 4 cos, whichever you choose, maybe just choose the 2 pi up in 3, plus i sine 2 pi up in 3. And of course 2 pi up in 3 is fine because it's less than pi, it's less than 180. 
して。